All right, so this has been Papa's go-to routine since he found out. What did you find out? So this is one of the craziest findings um, during this whole quarantine. During this uh, quarantine uh, shelter in period. I found out I actually have eczema. Which is insane because I'm like, I never had eczema my whole life. And my dermatologist was like, no, if you have eczema now, that means you've always had it and you're genetically predisposed to have it. Just the right condition. Mama, why did you do that? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it and devour it. <laughs> Uh, just the right conditions didn't trigger your eczema. And I'm like, so what do you think triggered the eczema? And he goes, as so I was telling him, my change in lifestyle. And he was saying he thinks it's my pool. And I'm like, what? I freaking love swimming. Well, it's not your pool. It's that you've had it. And, so, and then you, you, you didn't moisturize. Yeah. When so, mama told you to. So, <laughs> of course, you have to rub <clears> that in. Oh, yeah, Don't baby. Touch it. Don't touch it. What did I say? Don't touch it. And so um, it, what's happening is I went from zero swimming to swimming every single day. And then me being the nasty guy that I am, I don't rinse off all the chemicals immediately and I don't moisturize. So the extreme dryness was constantly um, making the, the uh, I guess, uh, what's the word? Exacerbating my skin. And then so it made the eczema pop out. So I have hydrosis, I believe it's what it's called. It looks nasty. If you Google it, it's a bunch of little blisters, like a ton of them all together. And so now I have to put on this cream and also this steroid um, and try to do it <gasps> for three weeks. You're on steroids? I am on steroids now. And to hopefully... But it's just for eczema steroids, which yeah. is not performance enhancing in any sort of way. Yeah. It, I wish it was. And it would... Um, no, you don't. Uh, hopefully it goes away in three weeks because I really miss swimming and then that way if I stay moisturized There's a huge possibility. I can continue to swim But it's just insane because this whole time in JK Casey has eczema Joe has eczema. They always tell me these eczema stories. I'm like man I can't relate and now I can relate and I'm like, oh man I don't want eczema because it's so itchy all the damn time So if all of my peeps with eczema out there Feel bad for you because before I had all these creams, I would just straight up be scratching all damn day. And now uh, I feel much better. It's much more under control. So why do you put the cream on first and then the other cream that was prescribed? So what the doctor is saying, he wants me to put the cream on first. And I actually bought some eczema socks too. Um, it's like has like a gel silicone insert so that you can put creams on and then that way your socks won't absorb it. But for now, I'll put this on so I don't get grease all over the floor. You put this cream on because number one, um, it's my skin's not moisturized, so it's zapped of all moisture. So because it's so like, you know like when you have chapped lips and it gets all red and inflamed. You literally so have sensitive. chapped lips right now. <laughs> right. So imagine that, but on your hands and feet. And so it's like really dry and it's just cracked and it's like hypersensitive. And because it's hypersensitive, there's all kinds of weird reactions that's happening. So we want to bring the sensitivity down first by moisturizing. Um, and then you put the cream on because I think the cream itself, you know, like there's no such thing as treatments that target specifically one thing. It's always like an overall reaction. So. As much as it brings down the inflammation of the eczema, it's probably also doing some sort of bad. So you want to have the cream to kind of heal and help you overcome all this stuff. And I'm putting on gloves so that I don't get this all over the place. Because I'm really trying to just have everything marinate and be good and hopefully be done with this in like two to three weeks. This is so annoying, putting all this damn cream on all the time. Sorry for all the people that are like, you don't even have a bag. <laughs> like, I know, but I went from not having it to having it, so it's bad to me. I 
cut it too soon. I want to show you guys. He kept it all black though. <laughs> he keeps it matching. It's his hair, thing. his shirt, his shorts, his socks, they all match. You really look like you're going to go assassinate someone. But I'm hot, so I'm wearing like, shorts. <laughs> yeah, you're an assassin for hire. I'm assassinating someone in a place where the temperature is hot. Dude, if we were having a conversation and out of nowhere you start putting on black gloves, I'm just like, oh fuck, I'm about to die. What do you think is happening right now? Shit. You're struggling, that's what's happening right now. That's my husband, everybody. One of the things that I'm pretty happy about since I did have the extra time was being able to finally clean the workbench. So it's not completely organized yet, but I have things under control and I can actually put stuff on here to use it. I still have to install this trigger assembly for one of my rifles. Got this light that I have. I have um, my lantern charging, and this is really important, especially for those of you guys that were preparing for like quarantine or the end of the world. I know people were stocking up on toilet paper and food and all that. People always forget that if society shuts down, sometimes electricity also shuts down, which is why it's really important to always have flashlights around the house, chem lights, aka glow sticks, candles, like some more manual stuff. So. This guy tells me it's ready to be fully charged and I can use this for like a good 48 hours. So I have that and I also have two lanterns that operate on batteries just in case. And uh, oh, check this out. Dun, da, da, da. Look how organized this is finally. It's all my hand tools. I got all of my more power based drill tools, drill bits. And then, don't touch, don't touch mister. I know you wanna stick a little dirty paws in there. And I got all my wrenches. Socket wrench, hammers, my air compressor tools. So I got all of this stuff. Finally under control a little bit. I still gotta organize a little bit in here, a little bit in there. And then the inside of my gun safe. A lot of you guys on my Instagram have been telling me, share your gun collection, share your gun collection. If you guys want to see a, like what I have in my safe, let me know and I'll put together a dedicated video just for that. And now we're gonna ride our bikes because we got inspired by the Lance um, 3430 ESPN documentary. And we're gonna ride some bikes to go get some food. Wait, I'm trying to understand. What are you saying? Nothing. <laughs> what? You just said Homer hippies? No, Homer bees. Homer bees? Yeah. What is Homer that? Homer bees? What's no. a Homer bee? Here. Roll the bike. The bike, okay? No, we're going to go safe. We're not going to fall. The the bike because of the bloody nose, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. Be careful for the yeah, be careful for the bloody nose. Sometimes I don't know if you guys understand him as well as I do because I'm so used to hearing his talk. So he says, be careful of the bloody nose. But when he comes out, it goes, because the bloody nose, okay? But I've been hearing him for a long time, so I don't know what the hell he's talking about. I don't know how to fix this thing. I'll do it. Because it's out in my head. It's out in my head. Mama, give me, go, give me. Feels good to be out and about with the CUNY family. You be cutie. Green light, let's go. Green light, green light. Green light. Green light, green light. Green light. Oh, that's a sharp turn. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. I made it. That was dope. I'm still riding bikes with my black gloves on. And since I have all this ointment, it feels all greasy and my hand keeps sliding around. It's hard for me to get grip. But I think I'm gonna take it off when I 
finally get food so I don't look like that weirdo with like work work vinyl gloves on while I'm eating. But oh, this is so cute. Look at his little bumblebee helmet. That's my favorite thing about this little dude. His little helmet. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think this is our first time eating at a restaurant and after three months. That's for you. It's for you, mister. <laughs> thank you. you it's for you, dude. Ooh. I like how they use the menu out of paper so they could just dispose of it and stay clean. Do you know what you want to get, Mama? No, not yet. That guy's nuts. Oh man, the food looks so good. Smells so we good. Get a hot meal. I know. Like restaurant. Like meal. restaurant quality hot meal. Take the honorary bite. Mm. I really hot. And then we got steak on fried potatoes, salsa verde with the over easy egg. A little monkey do here. I can hear that's a lively in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy. I love restaurant food. I love the whole dining experience except when you have this little monster here. Eat some pastas, yummy. No, I want to. You don't want you want ice cream? Dinner time. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's lunch time. How's that? Ooh, damn, I messed up. Really? I love the green sauce here. It's so good. Damn it. This is what's up. Is it? Yeah. I messed up. Yeah. Mm. I messed up. Oh, yeah. I should have ordered this. Damn, you always ordered the good, good. Yeah, I'm down to go half first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Minus the egg. Can you tell if I like my meal or not? Oh man, that sucks. Guess I'm not coming back here anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a negative review. You're being sarcastic. How much this will eat? Nothing. Well, he ate the bread. Did he? That's when we messed up. He ate, bread he ate the whole bread though? Yeah. Oh, nice. He the bread. That's not bad. So we figured out why this guy was being so grumpy at the restaurant. He was so tired. We don't know why. It's not even his nap time. But the 30 minutes to an hour right before he's about to knock out, he turns into this grumpy monster. This guy's out now. Big cutie. Let me show you what this guy looked like when we're riding back. It was hilarious. This fool's head was like bouncing around all over the place. I couldn't um, get this camera out because it's too big while we're riding. But look at this. His head's all up on um, Gio's back. <laughs> it's pretty cuny. Look at this fool's head just bouncing around all over the place. Damn, Mobber's going fast. I realized I haven't actually shown you guys what the eczema actually looks like. So it's actually a specific kind. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I think it's dishyhydrosis, dashyhydrosis. But it looks like this. So uh, my skin's peeling. And if you look underneath, you see all of those little dots and blisters. That's all over my hands. So I have it, uh, let's see, like here, you can kind of tell a little bit. You see the little dots there? And I have it like all over my palms, like you see where it's peeling there. And I have it on this side too. And uh, like if you look at my knuckle, see all those little dots in there, like little blisters. And I have it all over my foot. So it's on almost every single finger, all over my palms, all over my foot. Um, you can see baby ones inside my thumb. Look really closely. And it itches like crazy. So I'm really hoping this can go away and I can go back to swimming in the CUNY poo. So I just got some stuff that came in the mail right now that I wanted to share with you guys, especially those of you who want to be more tactically prepared at home. 
tactically meaning um, any type of home defense, intruder situation, um, just any bad guys that you don't want breaking into your house or damaging your property or just any type of emergency situation. So the first thing that I got, to, oh, wrong area. Um, remember I was telling you guys about having lights and stuff? So I just ordered some chem lights, which are another word, uh, the Marine Corps term for glow sticks. Got a whole pack of them here and you can never have too many of these guys. Later I'll put one of them in my car just in case I get stranded somewhere. You always need light. And I already put two of them wherever I have a firearm all over the house just in case the light goes out, bad guy comes in or the, the bad guy shut off my power before they break into the house. I want to be able to see or just earthquake switch, uh, earthquake situation where you just don't have lights and I need to know where Geo's at or where Tyka's at. So visibility is very, very important. The second thing is with all the crazy like looters that we've been seeing, not the peaceful protesters, those guys are awesome, but there's people that are just straight breaking into places and stealing stuff. And some people started going into residential areas and with my me having a kid and having a wife and also an older senior citizen, which is my mother-in-law, I ain't having that. But I also am not about just straight up hurting people and taking life. Um, I, I feel like I think as a citizen, I'm only gonna use lethal force if I feel like there's lethal force coming at me. But for the most part, um, there are a couple of like weird guys that walk around here that have been breaking into people's houses. So if I see one of those guys, I'm gonna just apprehend the motherfucker. So I actually bought zip tie handcuffs. So uh, I think they came in a pack of six, which is pretty dope. And I bought a carabiner so I could deploy them very quickly. So if I see some guy breaking into my house or breaking into another person's house and I chase their ass down, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tie their asses up. Better believe that. And I also got a gun cleaning kit. I could do, I am gonna go shooting more this year. So I got a gun cleaning kit, I can clean it at home. And that's about it. That's like my little setup right here. I got my quick deploy gun belt with my first aid kit down here. I'm just ready to rock and roll. Got some gloves. I'm gonna do some cleaning around here. Make sure my hands stay nice and clean. But that's about it. For those of you guys who don't feel confident apprehending people, um, there's no need to get that, but it does help because especially if there's a, you know, the, this is what they say about intruders. You can never, you'll never know the size of the intruder. You'll never know the amount of intruders and you'll never know the experience level. So it could be a 6'5 guy, 250, or it could be smaller dudes. It could be one guy, it could be four dudes, you know. It could be a guy with a black belt in Jiu Jitsu, who knows. So that's why it helps out to have tools. If three people bombard this place, then I can take one down, hopefully, and then tie him up or her up and uh, address the other situations and also have lights and stuff like that. So now I feel way more safe for both earthquakes, all kinds of stuff, because the world is wild right now and I just want to be as prepared as possible, especially since I have a family. We're having a super CUNY family time. We just finished our dinner. Which is, uh, I made stew again. I haven't made stew in a long time. Surprisingly, I thought I'd be making stew way more during the quarantine, but I think since we had more time, I was like, I'm just gonna make all the other foods I don't usually make. So the convenient food, I actually haven't been making that much. And I uh, made this guy, just a straight miso with some brisket, um, enoki mushrooms. So we all ate that for dinner. I'm still trying to be on a diet, so I cut out carbs. And then Mom and Taika are in the most comfy of positions in the universe. I want to join you. Is there a space? No. <laughs> Not at all. Fine. There's a lot of floor. I'm just kidding. Come on, Ian. Look how we're going to end the night in the super cuniest way possible. Oh, thank you for joining us, Fani. We're just going to sit out here. Eat ice cream. Ice cream. Cheers. Oh, it's so different. I know I got the bobo. Which one did you get? Oh, chubby hubby. I'm gonna have to steal some of that. He got what is that? Pineapple or a peach? Pineapple. Pineapple. <laughs> and we're just out here enjoying the sunset and the mountains and having a good old nice family time. See you guys tomorrow. Good night.
Mm. 